welcome to your 10 minute face. How fabulous is this? Everything in here is designed to get you dialed up in 10 minutes or less with proven beauty solutions. So let's get started with the real star of the show, which is our Doll Skin Foundation. Doll Skin Foundation was created as a superfood for your face. It contains turmeric, vitamin C, vitamin E, all kinds of unbelievable antioxidants to really help to treat your skin like lavender extract. You're gonna wear your foundation all day, why not wear something that's really good for your skin, right? So I am actually wearing the shade light. So if you identify with me, I'm in the light shade, I have a little bit of pink, and then I have a tiny little bit of yellow. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull the lid off just like that and pump it and get it ready to go. It also comes with our number nine brush, which is heaven in itself. It is the perfect buffing foundation tool to create this lawless, gorgeous, gorgeous finish. So let's get started. Now typically you can either put this couple dots on your face and blend. Me, myself, I actually like to put it on my wrist right here on my hand and then I like to go ahead and put it on. But you can see the type of coverage this has. Look how instantly it completely covers all of my redness, all of my discoloration. And watch what I do in these red areas. I do a little thing called stippling, and instantly it creates this gorgeous, flawless looking skin. But what I like about it more is what's in it while I'm wearing it. Like I said, this is a complete superfood for your face, like turmeric, magnesium, hyaluronic acid. This has um, like licorice root. All of these ingredients are designed for your skin. It's an extension of your skincare. So watch this, look at that transformation. I have redness, I have freckles, I have age spots, and instantly what you'll see is this absolutely flawless, perfect finish. You can see that how my skin is starting to appear smoother more even tone, it's reducing that look of redness in my skin, that freckling in my skin. Now, if you have these little tough areas like I do, my rosacea, I like to do what we call stippling, and like I said, this brush is like that perfect brush. So I take these areas that kind of peek through that are really on the redder side, and I just stipple those out just like this, just to make sure, just a little, to me it's a little extra confidence or it's a little bit of an extra like boost to know that all that redness of my skin, they're the areas that I hate on my face, are completely done. I actually take my foundation too, over top of my lips, it helps to create this barrier on my lips to stop lipstick from bleeding. Actually helps your lipstick to last longer and to make your lipstick color look a little truer. That's a little bit of two cents on my part, but get there you go. So my foundation is finished. It's super easy, it's super quick, and I know that it feels amazing on my skin. This blush is so pretty. It's called um, She's a Doll. Of course, because we think everyone's a doll, right? But it is the perfect shape because you know what? When we talk about blush, what is blushing? Blushing is really um, an influx. I know this sounds kind of weird, but it's an influx of blood that kind of comes to our skin maybe when we're a little bit embarrassed or maybe we've seen, you know, somebody that we like. That's really what blushing is. So what you want to do, we don't blush in purples or any strange colors like that. It's really think about what the color of blood is that comes to the surface and you want to try to keep that as natural as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and just tap that on with my finger. Just easy like that and instantly what you'll find is that my face is starting to come to life. You can see that how that color looks like it's lit from within. I'm getting that beautiful kind of blushing glow right to my skin. You can see how easy that is and how fresh and how pretty that is. Now I like to do, listen, when I'm at work, I'm not putting a whole full face of makeup on. You know, if I'm going out, I'm gonna take the, all the time to get dolled up, but really at work, I like to be fresh, I like to be natural, and during the day, like if I'm going to the grocery store, or to church, wherever I'm going, I like to keep it kind of natural and fresh. So I like to take the blush, that same blush, and she's a doll, and I actually like to just put this right here, right on my eyelid, and what that does is it creates this beautiful kind of harmonic look. It actually blends in that blush color that I put on my cheeks, and on my eyes without look like I'm trying too hard, but actually is finishing off my look. 
so you can kind of see how that blush and that um, on the eye and on my cheek is working. Remember with that blush, we're going to go like this and we're going to go up, right? How easy is that? It's perfect. Now, mascara, right? So welcome to the world of Effort Lash XL. Well, so Effort Lash found the, um, mascara was actually a mascara that was created um, in Italy and then we hand created the brush in Germany. So what we wanted to do was take that same technology between Germany and Italy and really give you a mascara that was going to blow your lashes out of the water or into next week, wherever you want to talk about. And that's what Effort Lash is Excel. So you're going to see that the brush is slightly slimmer, uh, similar to Effort Lash, but it really is a little bit tighter in the bristle. And this way you can really, really get into all those fine lashes. So when you put on your mascara, what you're going to do is take your mascara, put it at the base and wiggle up. Here's a little trick that I like to do to really extend and make my lashes look bigger. I like to take my mascara wand right below at uh, the top of my lashes like this and just roll up right here at the tips and instantly what you'll see is watch how these lashes just start to grow. So you can see the difference in one set of lashes versus the other. So this is going to be a game changer in the world of mascara. I think when you try it, you're going to be incredibly impressed with it. And you're going to say, oh my gosh, Doris, really? Um, I didn't know I didn't have any lashes. And now look at them. I look like I have the best and the biggest and the fullest lashes in the world. So that's what we want for you. So the highlighter in um, Doll Glow is such a pretty kind of perfect color glow, candlelit glow for the season. And why I say that season it has this kind of like warmy gold glow to it. So you're going to see that in these gold tones, what they do is they create warmth to the skin. I always like to use more of a champagne highlighter in the summertime where you want to be fresh. And then I want that warmth in the wintertime. So this is like more of a goldy glow. You can see how beautiful that gold tone is. So where do we put highlighter? I like to take the highlighter right above that blush area and instantly watch what's going to happen all of my skin is going to come to life. You're going to tap that just above your, your um, blush. Now a little trick, I like to actually take the highlighter a little bit up on my temporal area and what that does is that fools that light into looking up and lifting up my eye. So another really cool place that I actually like to take my highlighter is just right here over my cupid's bow. It makes my lips look a little bit fuller. It defines that cupid's bow as well. So let's go ahead on this side. Let's get me all glowed up. I also take a little bit down here on the bridge of my nose. I don't put it on the tip of my nose. Because remember, things with glow brings things forward. So we don't want the tip of your nose arriving before you do. But what we'll do is we'll take this right down the bridge of my nose, just like this. Okay? And then you can take a little bit, remember we use that blush, a little bit up right here underneath that eyebrow just like that to give a little bit of a lift. Let's finish off this 10 minute flawless face with the perfect lipstick, right? I love this lipstick. It actually is one of my favorite colors. Everyone knows that I started this business in the world of lips, but you can see how we expertly matched it with the blush. Remember, you never want your lipstick and your blush to be different undertones. You always want them to be the same because when they're the same, it actually creates a more soft, romantic, younger, fresher look. And it also isn't disturbing for people that view us. But this color instantly is going to make your lips look bigger and fuller. It glides on like silk too. And it's so good for your lips. It has that squalling in it, which comes from olives so you're literally bathing your lips in olive esters so here is my 10 minute flawless face